Hi friends, my name is Yash and I am at the hotel in New Delhi at this moment. So I figured this would be a good time to explain you all a little bit about Excess Token. In this video, I'm going to cover what is Excess Token, how does it work and uh, how we can generate the Excess Token of our Instagram account and why do we need Excess Token and why it is useful. But before I go ahead, let me tell you a short story. Like I, I just go to the front desk of my hotel. I went and I checked in. It's pretty straightforward. Exchange right. I show them my ID. I give my credit card details and they give me a key card. I take this card and walked up to the door of my hotel room and I swiped it on the door. Of course, it's, it just let me in. So this hotel key card, it's just like access token for me. An access token just says whether or not the bearer of the token is allowed to access the thing they're trying to access, in this case, the hotel room door that doesn't even care who you are, what you are, even it doesn't know my name or any unique identifier. It is need to know whether or not the card is allowed to access this door at this time. That card doesn't have my name on it or any of my payment information. It just says that I can access the card on that door on a particular room number. When I, in this analogy, the app presents the access token to the door. I don't care what's in it. All I care that it works. So I'm gonna take this key card, swipe it on the door, and the door opens for me. Just like an application, I'll take an access token present on the API and hope the API call works. Access token is very useful for us because an uh, access token will help you out the user to authenticate a particular account to the particular person who runs his or her own business. The reason behind it is very straightforward, that it is your unique identity, which is encoded by your official team of that platform, so that user can easily navigate a particular link or picture or clicking on a video for anything. So you can also see on so many websites that people use grid system to view their Instagram feeds on their websites. It is all just because of that access token. So this is very useful for us because it is very easy for the user to navigate and gives you a fresh outlook when a person refresh. Now, without wasting your precious time, let's get started how you're going to know what your access token of your Instagram account is. Let's dig in. So before you proceed ahead, you need to open the browser first of all. And uh, go to the developers.facebook.com. Developer.facebook.com. Open the first link and log in with the Facebook account. And once you're done, it's written here My Apps. So you go to the My Apps section at the top right corner. And uh, you need to click on the Create App here and click on the None. Click on Continue. You need to mention the name of the app mention the email address and click on the create app so you need to verify with your password just submit the password and click on submit or if it asks you for the capture just verify the security check and uh, it will show you the screen here okay where all the products are written so next uh, there is an option on the left side settings where you need to click on just expand it and click on the basic settings right here it will show you a screen at the just scroll it down here you found like air platform where you need to mention select the platform now I'm selecting website because I'm using uh, for the website only and click on next so once you just you need there is an option like site URL where you need to mention the URL so I just uh, mentioned the test app.com and click on save changes so once I click on the save changes here it is done now there is an option below like here it's uh, add products where I just click on in and uh, there is a first option Instagram basic display I just click on the setup click on create app the test app written here it comes from your domain name you need to just click on the create app I'm using it for the dummy you need to use for your own like 
if you wanted to use for your website or you wanted to know for, for some any other reasons then you can use it okay like uh, now there are three URLs like client OAuth settings, deauthorize and data deletion requests so you need to mention the URLs which is just like https slash www.testapp.com click on copy and paste it on all of the three sections here and click on the save changes so once you click on save changes the page is refresh now it is written here add and remove Instagram tester where you need to just uh, mention the name of your uh, your Instagram account it is written here you must add an Instagram tester to your app to generate the access token so it means which account you wanted to generate the access token so you need to just click on add and remove Instagram tester and type the Instagram user name here it is Instagram tester click on add and you need to mention the name of your Instagram account and click on submit so once it is done it shows you a pending option because you are not verified until yet Instagram.com once it is done you need to go on settings option it is written here app and websites click on this and tester invites which is a test app it comes from this section so you need to accept it first if you wanted to know the access token you need to accept it so once it is done just refresh the page and the pending option written here is all done so as you already see this is all fine now okay I mean it means that your Instagram account is verified you need to click on Instagram basic display and click on basic display now it is written here generate token okay so click on the generate token it will pop up a new window screen right here so click on this uh, because I'm already logged in so it shows me just like that you need to mention the email address and or the password of your Instagram account so I enable the 2FA it gives me a kind of um, a code on my registered phone number which I need to mention here and allow that test app screen here Click on continue. Uh, it will, will take some time. It depends on your internet speed. It is written here. Test app would like to receive the following information about this: the name, uh, where the the profile information comes with the username, account type, and the media just comes here with this. So this access token will help you out to count the captions, media count, media type, media URL, permalink, and timestamp, as well as the thumbnails. So I clicked on allow and once I clicked on it allow this means I got the access token now I click on the I understand and copy it or you can paste it on notepad like this and now it is all yours so how this is how you can uh, generate the access token of your Instagram account and if you do want to remove it from your uh, from your Instagram as well and from other things then you need to do the same thing like here developers.facebook.com click here and uh, go to the my apps right there and it's written here test app where you need to remove the app from here click on removing the app and uh, same thing just enter the password of your Facebook account and it is done yes as you already see there is one only so now if you do want it to remove from the Instagram also you can click on the remove section here and click on the remove app as you already see there is there is no night there is nothing now related to such like that okay so there is no access token on this particular account so this is how you can uh, generate the access token of your uh, Instagram account which allows you to refresh your feeds you can put it on the put it on the footer section of your website put it on the grid section of your website and it is easy for you okay so this is how this works so this is all in this current video which is uh, the simply all I need to explain about the access token generation of Instagram account which is very straight and easy methods but if you found this video knowledgeable and you learn something from it to share with your friends colleagues and relatives and for any other queries if you have in your mind then just shoot your command in the command section and uh, I'll definitely happy to assist you.
Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. Stay safe and stay healthy. May God bless you all.